everybody. This is Darwin Reina. I'm the festival director of El Hospitalejo Vega International Field Festival, my beautiful city. I'm so happy to be there representing my city with this great festival. And today we have a great filmmaker. This girl, she's amazing. You know, she can she can act, she can direct, she can produce. I mean, when I got this question in the in the filmmaker groups and say, can you edit, acting, produce, and direct? I just know that it's possible because of Melissa and she's gonna tell us a little bit about the last touch. I love that title mm -hmm. actually. You gotta tell me why okay. you put that title first of all and why do you, where you get the idea from? Hi Melissa, how are you? Hi and thank you for having me in the festival and for this interview and um, even though it won't be the first one to be showed, it's my first interview as a filmmaker. So, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so why, how did I get the idea? Yeah. Um, it, it, it was actually two years ago in 2018. Mm -hmm. I had just moved in New York and taking my acting class with Anthony Addison and he just uh, threw at us um, a challenge. He was like, write, direct, or end act in a short movie and it has there was a theme he threw at us and I went to bed that night. I closed my eyes and then I opened them back right away. I had like all the visual in my, in, in my, uh, in my head. It was about um, how social media and, and how, how um, dehuman, oh, he, it dehumanizes us. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, I just had this visual because this is what is going on, you know, uh, we're all like stuck to our screens and our social media profiles. Uh, and wow. we're so connected in a way that is so disconnected. And that's what I wanted to express through that short movie. How, how long was the production? Yeah. Yeah, it was a day one day really? uh, so wow. I mean I prepared it uh, we we took a few more days to prepare it uh -huh. um, I met with the DP we talked about the project uh, with Yanni and uh, and then we prepared just like the the production uh, design like <laughs> that was basically at home but we wanted something that that could you know look like this um, Aseptize? No, do you say that? I don't know if that that's an English word. Um, you know, very clinical world. Yeah, exactly. Very, yeah. Uh, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very neat. And, and, uh, that's why. I yeah, said, yeah, exactly. Uh, when do you finish your? When you finish the film, how do you work with the composer? You send them like clues of music reference, or you just giving no music and say, "Hey, what do you feel about this?" For this project, basically. Because originally I didn't think it would it was going to be a short movie, like a produced short movie, mm -hmm. um, and it was just for class, I put some music I loved from Hans Zimmer <laughs> <laughs> and, and Thomas Newman, like my favorite music composer, film music composers, and I was very happy with it. And, and, uh, and I had one um, original music from a composer I worked with on a musical in France. Olivier Schultes. And so I put it together and I was like really a quick version. Like I told you, that was an original version. Mm -hmm. And then when I decided to really go further with it and make it a real, real movie, <laughs> um, I contacted my composer mm -hmm. I had worked with on other projects, um, Steve Schultes, who's in Michigan. And I, I met him through another movie, The Cabining. And that was my first American movie, but like we stayed in touch all uh, since then, you know, mm -hmm. it was amazing. So I sent him that version, mm -hmm. telling him that's the feel I really would love to create, but mm -hmm. originally and not with those <laughs> compositions <laughs> that I don't own. My last question, Melissa, is why, why <laughs> do you make films? That's the simplest response is because I love it. Uh, I notice, you know, like when I write is it's, it's a different process and it's like almost like um, sadomasochistic because mm -hmm. it's a very 
like there's a lot of torture and pain into creating and writing but making a movie <laughs> it's different there's this thing that's happening in the body and it's like almost like that's when i feel i exist and that i'm fulfilling my purpose wow. that you know like i have like i feel i have i have wings it's so exciting it's so wow like I don't know when everything is in alignment, message, the story, the, the performances of everyone, you know, again, all, all, all of the team, it's just magic. It, and that sensation, that feeling yeah. is just. Thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. You know, we, Thank the you. festival loves you and loves your film. Are you coming to Barcelona? Yes. I would love to. Let's see what happens by, 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 by March. I hope the world is going to be in a better place. Uh, and it's an honor for me to be in your festival. You're the first one who selected me. So, yes. And now Thank you. you. Have, Thank now you. you have many, many selections. I've been watching you. The last touch is just on fire now. Thank you very much. Uh, you, you look great. You. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you around, okay? Thank you.